Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and struggling with the mystery of how to stop sultry buttons. I've decided to slow it down a little bit, do a little more exploration, whip out my metal detector, because we've got a metal detector. We're back to doing metal. And let's see if we can find some things and maybe find the key to solving this mystery. But I'm not going to just record me walking around all the time. I'll, I'll, I'll record where we find stuff. Okay, this is a take two because I'm not sure what I'm recording. But we found this. Oh, that is just nothing. Strong Sal, I told you to strike the helicopter set. Ow! I said I'll get it later. But it won't let me grab the pogo stick. Which we need a pogo stick. Because we've got that box we can't reach. And that would be perfect. You know the one I'm talking about. Well, we'll look at it later. Then let's keep walking around. But still. Okay, there's the box I can't get to. Okay. I'd almost given up on Brain Blow. Alright, this is... This is a little too sensitive, gang. I mean, come on. Check out this stray bullet! Apparently monogrammed by killing you guy? That's a bullet. Get her to change her name to Sultry Bullets. So, so why would there be a Sultry Bullet at Cutesy's house? Hmm. I think this... Well, this the hork up thing isn't working around here. Is there more to be horked? We still have the hubcap. I don't want to tarnish my Samarang hubcaps on that. Oh, I can't knock it down. Fuck. Well, that was useless. Too small a rock. Okay, is there some hope here? We've got some, some options from Diamonicle. Let me ask you something. How do you con the lady types out of all their expensive jewelry? Oh, that's easy, man. You just gotta find a place they find romantic, give them a couple of presents, and tell them you're dying of pretendositis. They practically throw their money at you. That could work, if I had any idea what city sultry buttons thought was romantic. Which I do, but I, I'm only part of the way there. I need to get to the sun. Got any criminal projectives for me? Well, you could steal yourself a rocket-powered car, or some rocket boots, or a jetpack filled with rocket fuel. Man, I don't know where to find any of that stuff. Maybe I can just find a rocket. This was not helpful. If I need any more info, I'll be back. You know where to find me, at least for the next five to ten. I mean... Is it a multiple present kind of thing? Do I have to leave the flower, then there's something else? I mean, the bullets aren't a thing. That seems like there's something nearby. Or is there? Why did it go all the way over there? The jungles of strong Borneo have many poisonous and man-eating plants. I better keep my distance. Why did it do that? I didn't click there. Okay, let's... I can't get past the safari adventure. There's no way this old river quest boat is gonna make it back up that waterfall. I better leave it here.
finally. Bullet. Property of Baron Darren Diamonical. If found, please return to Brainblow State Prison. Meet me in the back by the rusty fence. That sounds like a really bad idea. Man, that guy can write really small. I guess that's what he uses that monocle for. Well, hey, that, that was funny. There have been some emails. Maybe there's a hint in an email? I know I'm right in the middle of cracking a hard-boiled case, but I think I have time for an email or two. Nick hey, Dangerask. You are pretty much my hero. Yeah, I can see how that would be the case. But I have to be honest. I think Home Star makes me laugh more. That guy is just hilarious. Nicholas Beefily, pathetic agent. First of all, let's get one thing straight, Beefball. Dangerask is a serious guy, okay? I don't make people laugh. I make them cry, tremble, and occasionally wet themselves in fear. Secondly of all, who is this home star person you speak of? Is he some sort of joke-telling global terrorist? Or an international spy slash comedian? Sounds like someone whose butt I'd kick across the deck of an evil secret underwater aircraft carrier. And definitely not someone who I would occasionally work together and share the same name with. Back to inbox. Pete the Swede. Dear Dangeresque, there's a dead tree in my neighbor's yard that is really ugly to look at. What can I do about it? Pete the Swede, Las Vegas. Hmm, cutesy buttons would probably say to carefully dig it up and replant it somewhere where it can regrow. But I say, go out and get yourself a chainsaw or a machete and hack that sucker down. No sense in mourning dead wood. Move on, man. What? Morning dead wood. No hints there. That's a VCR. I've seen enough! The phone? Hello? Uh, oh, hey! No, it... No, it didn't even ring! Yeah, I know! That's so weird! So, yeah. Hey, can I call you back? No, I just... Yeah. Yeah, I'll call you back. I just gotta... Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep, I will. Okay. Bye. What? Oh, okay. Give your mom a hug. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know that I want to go through just bringing the phone over and over again. All right, well, this is an interaction. What do you make of this? It's a lovely photo of the rare stick -and -knee flower, but it's not really what I would call art. It was worth it for the Trildar. If I'm gonna... Okay, Japan, which must be a slightly different map because we've gotten rid of the, the fake uh, strong set. This seems like it has multiple locations. Is it just a bullet? Somewhere out there's a bullet with my name on it. But not this one. This one's been monogrammed by Perducci! Any more? Is it horked it all up? Horked? I think this little patch of ground's already horked up its share of treasure today. It's horked. But she'll break down as soon as she remembers our favorite city. Yeah, but I've already done that. I put the flower. We got a note. We didn't catch it. Uh. Trying to find another item to put on that, that thing, but it just it's not there. I've I've searched with my metal detector. I think this little patch of ground has already horked up its share of treasure today. I've horked up a bunch of bullets, but that's about it. There's nothing to do but go back to Paris. <laughs> And then you go and we put the flower on the thing. 
Something I can help you with, stranger? No. I can't believe that sultry buttons kept this photo of us. I also can't believe I ever thought that mustache was cool. I guess a stick and knee flower in Paris really is romantic. But it wouldn't let me put it on the podium. It just triggered a, a scene. Uh, no. And a large knife? No way! And the blueprints? That won't do anything interesting. Like you start to stretch. I don't want to tarnish while. my samurang hubcaps on that. A rock. Uh, no. The great. Okay. Wait, what was that? No way. Uh, no. What was the hint? Hey, you! Have you seen- You are troubled with father issues. This has made it hard for you to define which side of the law you are on, and why you choose to work alone. Except when you work with your partner. Which is all the time. Then you click here. I'm trying to catch a beautiful jewel thief. Got any tips? Hmm. If you want to impress a lady, try leaving her flowers in a place you know she'll be. What am I doing? Did you see a woman come through here and steal a ginormous diamond? Um, nope. Not that I know of. What? Aren't you supposed to know everything about the seedy criminal activity around here? I'm sure if there was anyone around here fitting a criminal profile, I would know about it. Look, there's a big empty pedestal over there that previously displayed something that I wanted to take. I mean, protect. Protect. Sorry. Must not have been very important. Freeze, dirt scum! What? What did I do? Oh, nothing. I just love doing that. The great thing about Paris is that I can never wait to come back. Which is telling you you have to leave and come back. Should you just try leaving and coming back? Let's go to the car. Let's go back to Paris. Wait, Sultry! Man, I gotta find a way to get here before she leaves! Okay, what if I don't take the note? Like, I'm really stretching here, gang. I mean, this is like... I don't want to go to the internet, but there's something that's so obtuse going on here. <laughs> Does it affect anything? What am I missing? I mean, there's no way to just wait there. There's nothing else to grab in the game. Wait, Sultry! Man, I gotta find a way to get here before she leaves! Can I just... Okay, I mean, this is stupid, but what if we just select Paris again? <sighs> I'm technically already here. Are you serious? That's the trick! Just go to Paris twice? I knew you couldn't stay away. A sticky flower? In Paris? You do care! You know it, baby. Dangerous never forgets his special lady, baby. Do you mean it? I won't have my heart broken again. Of course. Why, I'd shower you with gems, if I had any. Oh, I have some. Take mine. Oh, no, I couldn't. Well, okay. So go ahead, shower me with priceless jewels. Not here, my sweet. Meet me in Hawaii at sunrise. How romantic. Don't keep me waiting. Well, that's somewhere I'm never gonna go. I gotta get this ruby back to Professor Experimento. 
And I guess I should hang on to these other rare gems as well. You know, for safekeeping. In a sock. Under my bed. Are you serious? Do you have any idea how much effort... Oh! Just don't leave and just go there twice. That was... Don't leave and go there twice. That was the whole... Maybe I have a, a, a difficulty with the obvious. I, I don't know. I do have the other diamond. I wonder what the other I diamond is. I got the ruby! Sultry buttons? No, she's fine. She just needed a shot of vitamin Dangeresque. A shot of vitamin D? Oh my goodness. There's a... There's a... There's a... Uh, a this is for danger -esque. Ready for takeoff. <laughs> Lift off engaged? Check. Leaving Earth's gravity? Check. Depleting the ozone layer? Check. Next stop, the sun! Uh, well, well, danger -esque. I see that you managed to find yourself a rocket. That's right, Bazooka. And I'm gonna crash it right into that giant chip on your invisible shoulder. Oh, you can try, danger -esque. But even if you get past the asteroid belt, I doubt you'll be able to defeat the entire alien army that awaits you! <laughs> Bazooka! Over and out of here! Okay, let's do this! <laughs> now we have to play Space Circus. I did not practice. Dodge the space, the stale circus treats with the arrow keys. They're indestructible. Launch a rescue bubble with the Z key. Save the performers. Shoot the space lasers with the X key. These are not good keys. Missed me. Ah! Okay, I fired, but. I, I tried to move. I, I can't avoid them. Oh, crap! Wait, wait, wait. That's not the right take. We ended up going in a different direction. Here, Secret I think this a. is it. Over and out of here. It's 92 million miles to the sun. I've got a full tank of gas, a handful of priceless treasures. It's dark, and I'm wearing sunglasses. Hit it! Whoa! Ah, oh, crap, sickles! Kasploosh! Uh, no. Whew, that was a close one. Looks like we have arrived. Things are about to heat up. I think I just do -do zapped one of the people I was supposed do -do to save. Oh, here. Do -do. do 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 do. Chicka wow. Hmm. Uzi Bazooka and his little yellow pet have to be around here somewhere. Uzi Bazooka. Airlock? This airlock leads straight into the empty blackness of space. We're sure looks sun. hot out there. Good thing this space station cranked the AC. It's on the sun. Sure looks hot out there. Good thing this space station cranked the AC. I have to give him credit. This, they put a lot of effort into decorating the basement. This was this is good. Hold it right there, Uzi Bazooka. Dangerous! Hang on there, Big D. This is not what it looks like. Oh, I think this looks exactly what I think this looks like. Exact. You backstabbing <laughs> traitor! Looks like I got you red-handed. <laughs> I'm afraid you are too late, Dangerous. And Dangerous too. What? That's what I was trying to tell you. I'm not Uzi Bazooka. That guy is an imposter. How long have you known about this? Pretty much from the beginning of the movie. None of that matters now. Soon, <laughs> my electromagnetic plasma solar drill will whip through this space station and kill you all while we get away in our secret escape pods. Oh, no, you didn't. 
Take that! Ow! 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 Hey! hey no, no! What? Ooh, what? Hey, please! Hey! Shoot him! Does it know which one to shoot? I guess he doesn't know which one to shoot, because I know which one to shoot. Oh, it was a setup. Oh! You got me! You got what you had coming to you, Tofu! Ha, 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 ha! Ha, 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 ha! What a totally unexpected twist! Uzi Bazooka is a robot! And he's really working for... <laughs> yes, I am the mastermind behind this whole thing, I am. I am Craig. Craig? Craig? I have brilliantly orchestrated the demise of the greatest action team in history. And I don't mean the Channel 5 Action Cool 5 News Team. Now, my robot will finish you off as I make my greatest escape. Not if I can help it. You take the big guy. Obviously, the only thing we really... Oh, here we go. Try the hubcap! This awesome Samarang hubcap is way too powerful to use on someone that wimpy. Um... Machete? I know using this large knife on this person standing right next to me seems like an awesome fun thing to do. Unfortunately, the ratings board says otherwise. Okay. <laughs> well, there's only the nunchuck gun. Out of my way, bazooka! I won't let you pass. Oh, yeah? Well, tell it to my friends. None and Chuck. Your puny weapons can't harm me. Okay, well, can we get Ronaldo out? We gotta get you out of here, Ronaldo. Don't worry about me. You gotta destroy that robot and take down the Craig. But. Now we can't cut him loose. The rock. Let's check him with the rock. Throwing rocks at people? Come on, man. That is so fourth grade ago. The drill. Couple of well placed Taekwon Judo hits ought to stop this mega solar drill. What? That thing just took a four fingered exploding fist of the lotus knuckle and it's still drilling. Now that's still about to top. Can we shoot it? Interrogating inanimate objects isn't as helpful as you might think. Orbital controls. Interrogating inanimate objects no, I don't isn't want to as shoot helpful the orbital as you controls. might I just think. Want to... Right. Whoa! Hey now! Does not compute. Couple of well placed Taekwon Judo hits ought to stop this mega solar drill. No, okay. So he moved it. Uh, no. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to orbit. A little bit left to see if we can run it right into. We, uh... ah! we calibrating. No. Oh, come on now. That's got to be meaningful. Whoa! Whoa! Right twice. Stop doing that. Doesn't move the drill though. Wait, what if we move the blocker? I should move these things. Someone could trip on them. Would you say they were dangerous? I would say they, they are dangerous. Yes. They didn't go for the pun. That's better. They didn't go. I'd say they're dangerous. Yeah, they didn't do it. Alright. Now you're a bit left again. 
ha ha ha. No plain old solo drill can penetrate my metallic body. Man, I really thought that was gonna work. I need a tougher drill. And I know how to do it. Suddenly it makes sense. We need okay, a let's see how tough this diamond-tipped diamond really is. Is it over left or over right? Over left. Hang on to your butts! I'm gonna be sick! Maintaining balance. Alright, this is, this is, I'm enjoying this. Of course, it's probably strong said. Wow! <laughs> dangerous. You are the only one bzz, bzz, who could destroy me. And you, Uzi Bazooka, had the coolest name of any robot I ever smashed with a giant solar drill. Perhaps in another life, bzz, we could have been partners. No dice, Bazooka. I work alone, except, for except when I work with Ronaldo. Or Dangerous 2, or da Dangerous, help! Ow, 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 stop it, Craig, ow! I'm not here? using that on myself. Besides, I probably wouldn't even feel okay, it. Okay, let's, let's go this way. All right, get off of my partner, you squeaky yellow villain guy! He said no! Try something else! Yeah, we just talk hey, Craig, why don't you step outside for a little air lock? Up the classic. <laughs> Thanks. I owe you one, buddy. One? You owe me like 50. <laughs> uh oh, what now? That drill must have damaged the space station more than I thought. Looks, Looks like, like we're, we're gonna, gonna have, have to jump. jump. Today is all right for tonight. What happened to the part where Dangerous swoops in, rescuing me from danger and carrying me off into the sunset? Oh yeah, Ronaldo dies now. What? Oh, but I only had two weeks till retirement. Yeah, and you fast-forwarded through the eight minutes of educational content I provided. And what happened to my nude scene? <laughs> Where's the artistic noir cinematic stylings you promised? Now oh, calm down, people. Every great film has to make some creative editing decisions in order to make me look better. Uh-oh, this is starting to turn into an unruly mob. And not the good kind like I started Strong Sun's poetry readings. For real this time. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump! Today is alright for tonight! Well, it definitely had a different flavor to it than the other ones. I mean, there, there was a little bit of the uh, the nonsensical, but not not too bad. And some of it was just too obvious for me. So, you know, my favorite so far. I've got to say. Have to see what episode five brings. Telltale pets. <laughs> And since it's 2008, I wonder how many of those pets are still around. Probably not a lot. It's 2022 now, so... 
14 years. Extended play unlocked! Okay, what is the extended play? In the next episode of Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People. I guess I could go search for more things, but... Missed me! Oh, crap sickles! <laughs> One day you'll get your baby turn for babies who have a turn! Okay, man, shut up! You shut up! You're dumb, and your head is wide like the river! You have the river head! <laughs> Eight bit is enough? And of course, track door. Uh, anybody know how to kill a dragon? You know, I'm just realizing how much Trogdor looks like, you know, the dragon from the Atari's 2600 adventure. Put that up if we can, we can find a picture of that. I haven't played that in a long time. Come on, Fahoga, guys. I see you jocking me. Trying to play like you know me. I'm like, come on, Fahoga, guys. I say, come on, Fahoga, guys. Save it to load. You'll be saved after I load my nunchuck gun. Extended play. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Welcome to the Extended Play DVD Extras portion of Dangerous 3, The Criminal Projective. Here you can see some behind-the-scenes clips, cast interviews, bloopers, and deleted scenes. To do this, just open the Dangerous map and select the location. Enjoy! Okay, this might be more than what we normally do. This might be a different... Cast interviews. This Marzipan. is Marzipan's backyard. In the movie, this set is, well, pretty much still just Marzipan's backyard. Which, in my opinion, did a better job portraying cutesy buttons' backyard than Marzipan did portraying cutesy buttons. Wow, those plants really grew fast. I know, I can practically smell the ozone layer being restored. Our air will no longer be toxic and poisonous. Or will it no longer be poisonous? Knock it off! Uh, okay. The gazebo? All right, what's going on over here? That's the intensive care nursery for abused plants. Go near it and I'll break your arms. Well, what do we, what can we say to cutie buttons? So, Marzipan. In the movie, you actually play two roles. That of cute, button-down, cutesy buttons, and that of sultry, unbuttoned, sultry buttons. That's right, and I must say, it was a pleasure getting to play a more interesting role instead of always having to play that ditzy blonde. So here's the question that all the viewers want to know. Are cutesy and sultry buttons related somehow? I mean, are they sisters or cousins? How are these two characters connected? Um, I don't really know, I guess. I mean, I just read the script. You wrote it. You're the one who would know that. Indeed I would, viewers. Indeed I would. Is that it? So, what was it like playing someone way, way hotter than yourself? <laughs> Sultry Buttons may seem attractive on the outside, but she's dark and twisted on the inside. She holds on to a bitter broken heart, but is still a romantic soul. That's what makes her so appealing. Nope, it's the leather. The leather? <laughs> so, Marzipan, in the movie you actually play okay. buttons. That's right, Bond. So here's the sisters. Um. Okay, so that's that one. We're gonna go through these. Let's go to the, the space station. Deleted space Writing the climactic ending to a hugely successful action movie can be tough. And sometimes it takes a few tries to get it right. Here are a few deleted scenes that you were never meant to see. Hey, this thing's hollow. 
I wonder if... Now I am Uzi Bazooka. No, I am Luger Machete, ultimate crime solving and making machine. Ha, ha, ha. We gotta get you out of here, Ronaldo. You did it! I'm rescued! And I beat up an arrested Quag. Oh, it's a beautiful day to be on the sun. <laughs> He's back in place, we know. Sure looks hot out there. Good thing this space station cranked the AC. Ow, 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 stop it, Quag! Ow! Hey, Craig, get off my partner before I kick you off. <laughs> hey, you're not so bad after all. Wanna go get a milkshake or something? <laughs> Seriously, ouch! That's my line. Hey, Craig, get off my partner before I kick you off. <laughs> hey, you're not so bad after all. Wanna go get a milkshake or something? <laughs> a milkshake's nice. This airlock leads straight into the empty blackness of space. This airlock. Did you ask, dudes? Shut your face, tubes. The staple of every good sci fi space station. Alright, well, does the gun work now? Did you ask? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright, get off of my partner, you squeaky yellow villain guy. Hmm. He said no! Try something else! Okay, well, what we just did... This awesome Samarang hubcap is way too powerful to use on someone that wimpy. Maybe there's just no yeah. solution to, in this point. Can't you ask? Do something! Maybe just... Oh no! Looks like the orbit controls have broken! And just after I defeated Uzi Bazooka! What a coincidence! Ow, 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 ow! Stop it, Craig! Ow! Ow, that's my line! Hey, Craig! Get off my partner before I kick you off! <laughs> hey, you're not so bad after all! All right, so there's, there's or something? Be, don't forget, there might not be a resolution here. These are deleted scenes. Ow, ow. Okay, what about Venice? It's always Venice. Okay, you guys are not gonna believe this, but all those exotic countries I visited in the movie were actually right here at the Stone Bridge. I know, I can hardly believe it myself. Let's take a look around. Thanks for letting me write Perducci's backstory in exchange for being in your movie. I've created a rich history for the character that has him touching the lives of many important people in history. Hey, no accents. That was the deal. I had no touching people either. Oh, all right. So what do you think of all these fantastic backdrops? Really creates the illusion of reality, right? Well, they look pretty good, but the historical accuracy is off in several places. The Eiffel Tower, for example, is actually 300.51 meters tall, or 986 feet. Yeah, you're fired. Aww. Thanks for letting me write for him. Hey, no okay. Oh. Okay, we've, we've exhausted that. Intriguing. I've never been to Ireland, but this is pretty much what I think it looks like. Some sheep hanging out, lots of green grass, you know, some like video game hills in the back, and like a big old chimney sticking out of one of them for no reason. 
That's about right, yeah. It's hey, you and the time. Porta! Wake up! I have a gelato pizza pasta for you! Man, that guy is one heavy sleeper. Okay, that's the same. We can't get to the... The Eiffel Tower. Mount Fuji. Is it just me? Or does that mountain look a lot like Strongside? I do not look like a mountain. I don't know, man. I definitely see the resemblance. Huh? Huh? Yep. Man, check out those awesome pyramids. So pointy. And those sphinxes. Just like laying out in the sun like that. They're probably like, man, it's all hot out here. I'm just gonna lay down for a minute. But then they fall asleep and get covered with sand and have to stay that way. And then their freaking noses fall off. That's rough, man. That's gangster. Of course, they're, they're, the nose on the Sphinx was disfigured deliberately. Where are we going next? Let's go in order. Okay, so these are the spooky catacombs. As you can see, it's really just the King of Town's old gravy-stained records room, which is still pretty spooky. This is where the showdown with the CG monster is going to take place. The cheat is our director of creature effects, and StrongSad will be providing the mocap animation. Let's talk to them about their roles in the making of Dangerous 3, the criminal project. Could this be a clue? Okay, yeah, it's a clue. This is Strongsad, my little brother. He was cast in the role of the horrific monster of the lost kidnapping case. See? Being the director's personal punching bag does have its perks. Tell us, Strongsad, what did you do to prepare for this role? Well, all I really did was drink that glass of pink milk that you gave me and then I mysteriously fell right to sleep. When I woke up, I was painted green and you had glued ping pong balls all over my body. This was two weeks ago. Such dedication, folks. Two whole weeks completely immersed in this role. This is going to be a performance you won't soon forget. I won't. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about your unique role? Only that I think I'm having an allergic reaction to this paint. Well... Just hang in there. You know what they say. Pain and horribly scarring skin conditions are temporary. Film is forever. Yeah. This is strong sap. Yeah, okay. Big. Whoop. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to the director, which will be something on the lines of... Yeah. What's the puzzle? Hey, there's something else jammed up in here. Aha! So that's where the field operations manual for classified space travel went to. A hot female agent must have left this here for me. And we get a rank up. Ooh. And there's the cheat. So, the cheat, you're in charge of the special effects for this scene. What can viewers expect to see? Oh, that's hot, that's hot. Is he? But this is for the DVD Special Edition Extras! <laughs> the cheat is a little too preoccupied with setting up this scene to provide an in-depth interview at this moment. I can only assume that this means the effects will be a cinematic masterpiece of epic proportions! Can't wait to see the final results! Ooh, what's this? What's this doing out here? This belongs back in wardrobe for me to try on later. Was that there in the, the treacherously game? perched debris that caved in on the monster as it died. Classic stuff. Skulls? These are the paper mache skulls Marzipan made for strong mad short-lived country. Normally I don't encourage Frenchy paper craft, but I'll always make an exception for a pile of skulls. So, poops, man. <laughs> I can't talk to you right now. That's just too funny. Talk about special effects makeup. 
anything else there? So, Poops, <laughs> yeah. I can't talk to you right now. That's just too funny. Talk about special effects makeup. All right. It's the Poopsmith. Oh, spider web. We can look at the spider web. Ah, Halloween store. You may only be open for two months a year, but your tacky <laughs> decorations can be used every day. True story. Okay, that was the catacombs, Strong Borneo. Check this out. This place used to be Strong Badia until we gave it a total jungle makeover. Let's have a look around. There's a lot of content here. The bear holding a shark is more than just a great action movie star. That thing's got rom-com written all over it. In a shark-eat-bear world, they said their love would never last. But this holiday season, one bear holding one shark will face the odds together. These plants? All fake! That's right! The cheat and I spent like three days spray painting garbage bags stuffed with my brother's old gym clothes. I also did a great job of recreating that humid, musty jungle scent. Oh God. <laughs> These plants? Gym cl The hole? Man, we've really abused Strong Badia's regal fence. Somebody's gonna have to get this thing cleaned back up. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, hi, Strong Bad. Hey, Homestar. I'll give you a quarter to paint this fence. A whole quarter? I've always wanted a lucky quarter of my own. I hear they taste like butterscotch mini bowls. I gotta get some paint from Bubs. See you in a while. Well, that was easy. That explains why things are back to normal when... At first, we were gonna film this whole scene in some rocky cave. But then I remembered that I had this old boat lying around. I was like, what if this part took place in Strong Badia, a la the River Quest Safari Venture from the theme park email? I could dress up my cardboard box boat a little more, have the running hose be the river, have some crappy palm trees painted on the fence, and possibly encounter some headhunters or a bear holding a shark. After that... Everything else just fell into place. At first, okay, it's the same thing. After that, same thing. The wet area. Originally, I didn't plan to have quicksand in this scene, but when Coach Z got his boot stuck in the mud, I was like, "That's genius!" Can I get my boot back now? Sorry, that's part of movie history now. Bob map. Brain Blow City. Here we are on the set of Brain Blow City, the seedy underworld in which Dangerous 3 takes place. Our modelers spent many halves of hours creating the sets that bring the city to life. Let's take a look around. Maybe now I can get the, uh, the pogo stick? Oh, that is just nothing. Strong Sal, I told you to strike the helicopter set. Ow! I said I'll get it later. But how do I get the pogo? Now we have one more mystery. We can't get that. And why doesn't it have a post-credits kind of thing? Hey, Bubs, say hi to all the fans out there. I don't do interviews. It's in my contract. What? No, this isn't an interview, it's a documentary. Oh, well that's different. I get time and a half for those. <laughs> oh. I'm guessing that's it. Hey, Bubs, say- Yeah, that's it. Oh. oh. Not giving them time and a half. Looks like I've reached the Brain Blow City limits. Nothing more this way but desolate wastelands and probably tar pits. Some of it's like you're still in the movie, some of it's not. I probably should be running the, uh, the metal detector, but... 
Is, is, there, is there something specific about Brain Blow City that he says? This is one of the many matte paintings we used to make the Dangerous Three sets seem bigger than they actually are. This one was actually painted by a guy named Matt. Which is probably true. I believe Matt is the name of one of the creators. Why is the stick just showing up on the map? I know it's impossible to tell, but the rare stick and tree in the movie was actually a the stick. The stick spent nine hours a day with a team of seven makeup artists, 13 puppeteers, and seven uh, key grips just to complete the illusion. On the drive through well. I have no idea how this got in the movie. Anyone? No? Eh, it's probably a union thing. Did he say anything? Can you go back and make him say things? I did No. I have no... The shark pond set also doubles as a lava pit, a pie factory, a piranha sandwich, and a cursed kiddie pool. Cursed kiddie pools are important. How do I get the box? I can't quite reach it! The rock didn't work. The gun didn't work. We need that pogo stick. The hubcap won't work. I don't want to tarnish my... That might be like the last final mystery. Originally, the car auto autopilot was going to have the ability to talk back to me. But when Mr. D. Williams pulled out, we just, you know, it just didn't seem the same anymore. <laughs> Billy D. is the my lover. It wouldn't be the same, you're right. I can't go any further in this direction. It's too not dangerous enough for me to bother with. So how do I get... Okay, the only thing I can think of, we have to do something to that. Throw a rock at the box, maybe? For the... Not this box, the other box. Do something with the helicopter set. This is like the big mystery of the game, how to get the box down. That's a, that's a typical video game trope. It's completely, in a, you know, it doesn't matter, so... It's a long walk back to the helicopter. So now... We throw a rock at it? That won't do anything interesting! What about we throw... I'm not it. using that on myself! Besides, I probably wouldn't even feel it. No, no, not on yourself, on the... I don't want to tarnish my Samarang hubcaps on that! Okay, the Samarang hubcaps are... played out. That's way too thick for these scissors to cut through! Interrogating inanimate objects, there's nothing else we can do here. I mean, you can't... Clearly, this pogo stick is just standing there. Clearly. Can't do oh, anything. that is just strong shot. Something's broken uh -huh. here, I think. I, that, that's the only thing I can imagine where we can get the box. Like he, he doesn't I, want, I don't, what? Oh. Yeah, I clicked that by accident. All right, let's just move on. Okay, that's this. Bloopers, dangerous office. Making a summer action blockbuster like this is serious business, but it's not without a few laughs, especially when things don't always go exactly as planned. 
check out some of these bloopers. Uh, bloopers. Oh, broken half of a paperweight. You were the last thing, my father. Oh, crap. All right, who got fried chicken grease all over that thing? Oh, broken half of a paperweight. You were the last thing, my father. Oh, okay. crap. All right, who got fried chicken grease all over that thing? These could get lame. Diet brown. All the fizzy with none of the flabby. So I got the soda back? Even though I fight the law, but I also fight the crime, I still can't fight the urge to check a few emails. Yeah, we've gotten them all. <laughs> the phone? Hello? You got dangerous. Boop, beep, boop. The number you have dialed. <laughs> Where is he? Go see. That guy's nuts. Ah, Brain Blow City's majestic shark pond. Come on in. The water's great. <laughs> what the? Go see. Get out of there, man. You get out of there. <laughs> Go see. I think, I think we've covered this. I'll be at the door. Need someone to lock the door? No, it's, they can't sleep. We're almost through these bloopers, my friend. Bomb Bomb here is actually a classically trained Shakespearean actor. But even he had his share of flubs. Check out some of these blundered burbles. The formula ingredients are a bubbly liquid, a flower from the rare stick -a tree, and some yellow hair. It's what plants crave. You still play the rocket simulator a bit. Fine! I didn't want to touch your stupid science any dang way. Whoa, check out the size of that ruby. Don't worry, I'm not gonna steal it. I'm just saying, pretty big ruby. Ruby powered rocket. I ordered... It, it's still my line. Ruby powered rocket. I ordered... It, it's still my line. Okay, this isn't probably gonna have a lot of depth to it, I'm guessing. Can I give him the fizzy soda? Hey, look at that. I happen to have a carbonated liquid right here. Man, I'm good. I know it looks delicious, but it tastes more like one of Ronaldo's old gym socks. And trust me, you do not want to know how I became familiar with that particular taste sensation. Okay, you got your bubbly drink. Now make what the formula make. Ing. It's the formula! He's done it, dangerous! You're okay, Experimento. Me and you, we's cool. Let's get this crap back to cutesy buttons! To the dangerous cave! I mean, office. To my office. Okay, so... Is that broken, or was that like the plan? That's not really the... So, you're some kind of expert on formulas now, huh? What? That's not the line. What script are you reading, man? How's that rocket coming? I need to get to the sun. <laughs> Cut. About those launch codes. Oh, you can't say that. We're gonna have to bleep that one. So, you're some kind of expert on formulas now, huh? What? That's not the line. What script are you reading, man? Have we exhausted this, you think? We have formula now. Ah, the club.
We shut down this entire trendy party club in order to transform it into the abandoned warehouse set for the movie. Hundreds of innocent party people lost their social lives so that we could achieve cinematic greatness. The King of Town has reprised his role as Dangerous's arch nemesis, Perducci! The nice thing about working with the KOT is that he works for peanuts. Literally. I've already blown through my cashew salary for the movie. Can you advance me some macadamias for my royalties on the merch sales? So, King of Town, you've played the role of Perducci in earlier films. How does it feel to step back into the pinstripe head suit of Dangerous's perpetual antagonist? Well, Perducci is an interesting and complicated character. He first comes across as hard as a jawbreaker, but then you start to see his softer, sweet side. Ooh, he has many layers, like cake. Delicious, moist cake. Okay, that's it. Let me at that craft service table. <laughs> okay, you think you have anything else to say? So do you think you and Perducci have anything in common? Let's see. We're both snappy dressers. We both enjoy a good game of cards. And we both illegally traffic stolen goods through an unnamed fence in Cairo. What? Oh, and we both wear hats. <laughs> so, King of Town, you've played the role of producer. Okay. Side. Okay, so that's 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 all there is. So do you think you and per I, I didn't mean to click him. Oh I didn't mean to click him. Is there anything else? Bottles? We can talk about the bottles. Probably These similar. ones are all old and warm. And all have light bulbs stuffed inside of them, apparently. That, are we getting to the point where that's it? Knocked over tables! The telltale sign that this place has been abandoned! That looks like we've gone through everything. Now, let's see. And yet, we ha we're missing so much stuff. Maybe someday I'll do a video just going through and trying to find the last of these in extended play. If these can even still be gotten. Out oh, and spit takes. How do you get a spit take? I'm a 12-fingered henchman, but... So much hidden in the game. One thing we could think to do is go back to the office now and then see if we can give the formula to cutesy buttons. Nope, we can get another Diet Cola. Diet Brown. All the fizzy with none of the flabby. Yeah, if I'm gonna hit the nude beaches on my retirement cruise, I need to start watching my girlish figure. That's broken. It'll work even better if I just take it away. I'm confiscating this. Official corrupt police business. It works, but not works. Now, does this let me take the trinket? Oh, or? broken half of a paperweight. You were the last thing, my father. Oh, crap. <laughs> all right, who got fried chicken grease all over that thing? On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to wrap this one up here. Maybe maybe we'll revisit it someday if we want to try and max out the 100%ness of it. But until next time, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. <laughs>